Hello, it's Ugg here, and welcome back to the release version of Hard Space Shipbreaker. I've been playing this game for a while, been looking forward to seeing how the story unfolds over probably a lot of shifts. So, I guess we've been reset back to nothing, so it's time to rejoin Lynx, push the button, and get this show on the road. to get away from this annoying bar with this music. Right. That sounds like me. Yeah. Normal meal preference. Obviously, famously, vegetarian. Uh, it's time to this stuff. Oh, it's noisy. Skip the train because you people haven't seen the train before. Well, let's do the intro. resources, a brighter future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation's Salvage Division. When my great-great-grandfather Exeter founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates 
to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity to be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard, heed your superiors, believe in the Lynx vision. Do this, and you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program, the greatest gift we give our employees, turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Good luck. Fresh start. Video observation complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. <laughs> Please note, as outlined in Section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now. <laughs> Extraction analysis and backup complete. Thank you. Beginning spare generation. Size to die. <laughs> <coughs> this is like nothing. Nothing. Okay, it's quite a lot. See, there's a sign of being prepared. Okay, right, let's get our thumb on that. And I think... Good at this. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. Whee! Now vertical control. Mm hmm. Looks good. Now, to finalize these movement checks, I need you to fly to these waypoints. All right, we gotta fly, have we? Can you fly, Bobby? Wish I could like. Used to be a cutter myself, you know. <laughs> Until there were some uh, complications with my last revive. Those are early days in the tech, though, so. Never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing. Brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip, and then test them out, why don't you? I will break in a second. There we go. All right. Huh. Looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. 
we're going to clean this crap up. I'm going to activate the furnaces. Now. Dang, dang. Would you just... There you go. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying. These things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. Okay. Let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object to move it around, if it's not too heavy. Give it a go. Move one of these pieces into either furnace. So, when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, It'll pull you towards it. Nice job cleaning up that soft metal scrap cutter. He's done it. Uh, let's move on to the bigger nanocarbon chunks now, shall we? You may have already noticed that these are too heavy to move with your grapple. <laughs> I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. This motor, your scanner, lets you assess an object's structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right. The controls give me the go-ahead to get you cut. Uh, you got quick points. access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. Open my tool menu? What? The cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. And it's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero-g surgery cutter? I am. Well, let's flip this scrap so it's light enough to move. Oh my god. That's how you do it. Okay, let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Oh my god. Uh, do me a favor. Look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can see if they activate right. Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right. We're in business. Now swap over to your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. I would have been really sad if they had replaced the cutter, or no, um, whatever, whatever, the guy in, who's talking? <laughs> Not me, I'm the cutter. Weaver. That's it. I would have been upset if they had changed his voice actor. I like Weaver. He's alright. Well, okay. We're almost done getting this bay in shape. Let's go after that large aluminum chunk over there. Now this beast way too heavy to move as is. It's also too dense for your stinger to break it down. And there are no structural cut points for us to take advantage of. Oh, is it? I have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool. Let me do it. Slicing this thing down to size. Go ahead and switch cut modes now. Now try changing the angle of the cut. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left to do. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's I'm all what about it's all the goal markers. The more salvage goals you complete, the closer you'll get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. Freedom of debt from debt. Raw material process. You've done it. Credits Great first shift in the yard, Cutter. Let's head on over to your hab and I'll show you the ropes there. Fly on over back to the master jack. I'll put a marker on it so you can find it easy. When you get there, head on in and we'll get started. Let's get in here. That's not actually bad salvage for that first run. Look at that. New certification level awarded. Light. Don't need to listen to the computer. We're going to hear the computer plenty of times. Uh, 
Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. That's everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. Sleep tight there, Cutter. Well, we're gonna have a little rest. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake up call. Bunch of messages. Gotta read that later on. Rise Maybe. And shine, Cutter. Hope you feel well rested. Ready to continue your training? Okay. Let's have a look at your employee terminal. Now, let's get caught up on career progression and certification. I've sent you a message with an explanation. Go on and give it a read. I will not read this because, uh, you know, obviously... Clear as mud? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process. Soon enough, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out too. All right, let's start a new ship and pick your first ship to work on. Uh, just in case you want to read the stuff. There you go. Okay, sweet. Okay, you can read that. I don't need to read it. I've read it before. Wow, well, I haven't. Right, so let's go to our ship catalog. Pick a ship. Sounds very familiar, doesn't it? This screen shows which wow, ship you have access nothing. to. Oh, no. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got, or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one, and we'll get to work. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Well, we go for that one. I've not seen one mark like that before. Thunderquan Mark Seven. Let's do it. all yours, Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank 3. Now try to remember, nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire shipping again. We call it using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. I'll be observing you and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, Cutter. Let me tell you about the hands. You grab all the things. Right. Get you in there? How long we got? We have an unlimited amount of time, which is absolutely glorious. Right, so this thing's not depressurized, so we will go in there and we will start. Wow, these ships are so Spartan. Oh, we can't pick up shit yet. Okay. Well, it's pretty cutting then. We've got no, no particular. Nothing particular to lose here, so let's get going. Get out of the way, you. Fuck it. It's been such a long time since I've done a ship this small. It's brilliant. Right. I'm not going to mess around. We know exactly what we're doing in here, so. Ah, uh, we killed a light. That's fine. Get that. Pull this up. We haven't got a time uh, limit. So. But, you know, there's no reason to not practice being fast. Also, kind of get me used to the, the tools that I have now. Object accepted for processing. Yeah, it's going to be a bit weird to start with. <laughs> right. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transfer. Right, let's go. 
getting here. Are you coming off? You are coming off. Good work. Uh, we'll get with you in a second. We'll get you in a second, my boy. In you go. I know these ships look intimidating to scrap at first. But trust me, soon enough, you'll be stripping the huge gecko glass freighters like nothing. Got my star salvaging back down Earthside in the droid scrapping biz. <laughs> you know what made me come up here? <laughs> Money. One day, we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They're always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothball for oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI ban took effect. Probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things looked exactly like my stepbrother did. He even had the same slack jawed expression. <laughs> Now, Jed and I wasn't exactly pals or nothing, but all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Link. I tell you what, it's a sight better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. <laughs> anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Holler if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. We were out. Well, I'm not going to be much longer. Don't worry, chill. Salvage goal obtained. Additional rewards assigned. I'm not even sure what those bits are. I mean, they may have changed some of the ships, so... Actually, just double check something. Hold on. I doubt they've told us about the. Have they told us about the barge? No, it hasn't got. They haven't, we haven't actually got the barge open yet, so that's fine. Let's go. Oh my god, it's difficult. It's tricky without certain things that I'm used to having. <laughs> I've got to angle and things. I've got to angle my face. I'll, I'll be fine. Right. Very much doubt I'll be able to move that unassisted. be some sort of technology to make this shit easier. Come in. Come on. Salvage goal met. Rewards will be paid. Alright, and we got this final bit to go. God, don't shove with any strength at all. Right. We're done. We wrecked a few lots and stuff. God, use the uh, use the old tether to get around a bit faster. Try and smash your face in. There we go. Done. Actually, not a bad profit on that. That's way overpriced. Certification review. Loot rank free. Wow.
morning, Cutter 9346-52. Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead and pick another ship. What? Is that done? Right, I think, because the, the goal is to always keep these episodes fairly short, so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, all that great stuff. It really does help the channel out, and it is most appreciated by me. Plenty more shipbreaker coming up, so I'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.